I also want to give a shout out to a really good friend and a viewer and, and a subscriber of mine. And he brought me a whole bag of his scrap uh, Hot Wheels. I'm not too sure if he wants me to give out his real name, but I'll put his initials here. So I guess there's still some confusion on how I charge the battery. And some people have been asking me, do I need to keep taking the chassis out to remove the battery to charge it? And the answer is no. I've built in a charging port here. This is a female uh, connector. And this battery charger has a female female charger as well or a female port so i rigged up uh, uh two male ends and i just basically did a butt connection and so one end can go in here and the other end can go in here and now once you hear that indication it's telling you that it's charging. So I thought I'd show you this at the beginning just so you could see. So people have been asking me, what are the 3D printed parts? And these are it. This, just the chassis, the two front steering knuckles, the front cross member, and the motor mount. I call it a motor mount, but basically I'm just going to glue I'm just going to glue the motor directly onto this plate here. Then I will use a small drill bit to drill two small tiny holes here so I could feed this music wire through. So it'll look like that. After that, it's kind of eyeballing, but I'll use the spacing on this, um, on these music wire and determine where the motor is going to be in relative to uh, these, these spacing of the wheel here. So once that's determined, I can drill two holes and feed, feed this rear motor mount through to, this, the, to the chassis here. The front steering knuckles starts off like this. This, this is how it looks like coming off of the uh, print. And the end result will look something like this. Where I drill holes, trim it, and drill holes on the side here for the wheels. And these holes here are tapped. And so is this hole here in the middle here. So these are all of the electronics. We have the receiver here, the servo, and the motor, along with the headlights in the rear red lights now here is the connector for the battery and the on and off switch along with the charging port now these pockets here will need to be opened up just a little bit with a file so I can feed these guys through and the servo will sit on top of the chassis like so and I usually try to eyeball it so it sits in front like this. So when I put on the front cross member and the steering knuckles, I'll have enough clearance.
it's super fun to drive around. If only I had a bigger diorama. But uh, the future plan is to actually make one and leave it in the garage. But for now, I have to use the kitchen table, which is not ideal at all. But hopefully, um, we can get another controller here and have another one so my son and I can drive around the our built city. But for now, I don't have anyone else to drive the cars around, so it's going to have to be me. So I'm definitely running low on battery. This is full throttle here. And I'm getting nothing. Yeah, it's dying off. So I'll have to go charge it.